<laughs> Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew, said Igor first, and he's going to get in trouble for it later. <laughs> Bad Igor. Bad Igor. Okay. Ernie wants to start the show with a joke, something that he thinks is funny that I do not think is funny. But what? Well, go ahead. Well, first we have to qualify this. This is a very sensitive topic, so we're going to treat it with respect and dignity. You can't even say it without smirking. <laughs> See, I don't think I don't find anything funny in this. Well, I want to talk about President Obama's Twitter because he launched it last week and it unleashed all this hate on the internet, which was really racist and awful. And somebody even flashed, uh, sent him this uh, rope picture where it looks like he's been lynched. And that is not funny. What I thought was funny in a John Waters sort of way was that, you know, here he launches a Twitter and he tells the world, hey, I'm here on Twitter. Hit me up, subscribe, and instead of getting all this love, he gets all this hate. I'm sure he got love too, but uh, you have to kind of expect that when a polarizing figure. I, I've heard that when polarizing figures put themselves out there online, they have to expect to be uh, targets, targets um, to be given both good, the good and the bad, and um, they also have to. So have, he got some bad. They have to have thick skin um, to to take that. Um, but I still don't agree with you that it's funny that people oh. lynch him. Well, I, I, yeah. I'm not saying it would be funny if he were lynched. I thought it was funny that his launch went awry. Well, if you think it's funny, if you think racism is funny, I, just, I, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't find it funny. So, well, I think well, what's fun. next? I think um, it's funny so, that it backfired. So, so Ernie thinks racism is funny, and I don't. So what's next? Um, well, since uh, we're on the topic <laughs> of hatred on the online, we want to know who's clicking the oh. dislike button on all our videos. We sure do. There is this one person that appears to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day to watch our video, and then after watching it, they click the dislike. And who gets up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day? I think it's you. I think because it's you. Because Michael literally stays up all night. And you are the one who gets up at six o'clock in the morning. Well, let's agree that it's neither of us. Let's let's. But I don't agree. I think it's you. Well, in fact, I think someone may have set up a nanny cam to have catch the culprit, to have caught the culprit, and we may have done so. Well, I, don't <laughs> I do not know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think it's somebody out there who hates uh, our show so much that they're going to wake up every day at 6 o'clock in the morning <laughs> to watch, watch it. it. Just to press that dislike button. <laughs> well, there's, isn't there a way of like in this computer age of like tracking back and going to all, you know, and finding who, what the URL or whatever of that person yes, is? Yes, there is. And we'll announce that way right after this. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the view. The view. And we have some breaking news. Well, using a little known app called Who's Your Hater? It's very little known. <laughs> only a couple people know about it. Right, because it's still in beta form. Yeah. So it hasn't been widely released to the public. I think yet. only four people know about this app. Yeah, the creator, the web designer of it, the coder, and, and us. Yeah. So that's five people, actually. Yeah. Five. Unless you count us as one. We are, we are, we are one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the royal lead. So using the Who's Your Hater app, we were able to record the hand of the hater who is it's clicking like, that dislike button. It's like when, you, when people go to the bank machine with a stolen credit card or a stolen ATM card and it records the person you know, putting the card in and you get their face. Or when the, the thing on the computer, when you steal somebody's computer, it will record you using it and so they'll get your face. Right, so we're going to show you a video of what we recorded using the Who's Your Hater app. If you recognize this hand, please send us a message and let us know who our hater is because we're fed up. Fed up. We're done with you. Finished. Be gone. All right. So, so here it is. Have you seen this hand? Yes. <laughs> and if you have, turn it in, report it, raise yes. your hands. Yes. You... <laughs> give us a give us a hand. <laughs> Help us finger the culprit. 
<laughs> and not in a pleasurable way. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the finger. I that feels so good. <laughs> oh, finger like me. Come on with it. No. Bitches just wanna know. <laughs> Tracy Isham wants to know that she can't believe that you still have a following after all these years. She can't. <laughs> She's incredulous. And she wants to know what's it what was it like seeing all the technology when you got out of prison? iPads, iPads, cars, and <laughs> television, cameras. <laughs> well, there were no the wheel. The wheel. <laughs> iPads, iPods, um, I laptops. Yeah, um, I bet that was surreal. You know, well, it was surreal, and I. I remember you breaking down in tears at times. Well, I still break down in tears at times. Um, it's a, I, my therapist says it's a symptom of post traumatic stress disorder, or syndrome. Um. I, you know, the day that I went home and I couldn't make a phone call. I mean, it was, you know, I had to call somebody. I, I, I couldn't find a pay phone to call somebody to ask them how to use a cell phone. So, um, but I remember you were, when you just got out of Peru, you were downstairs in the lobby and your phone was ringing and you couldn't figure out how to answer it. So you were asking people. And I went on the corner asking them how to answer this phone and they looked at me like I was an alien. <laughs> I said, will somebody please tell me? They thought it was a scam of some kind. Right, well, because in this neighborhood, it would be, right. It would a be white a boy in the Bronx saying, you know, please just answer this phone for me. No, no right. there's no, no catch, no hook. No catch, no hook. No scam here. But yeah. Just press so, the So, yes, button. it was surreal. But now I want to get back to the um, not believing, not understanding that I still have a following after all. I mean, really? Yeah. She, really? She can't believe What's it. What's her name? Tracy Isham? Tracy, really, Tracy? Are you, do you really want to go there? Well, we're not going to go there. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.